What's up guys, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews bringing you as seen on TV product reviews and more. Now if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so for more videos like this. Now this video is kind of by request. My friend Kayla in Puerto Rico asked if I would do the egg extractor, which is an as seen on TV hard boiled egg peeler. But I also had some Facebook comments a few months ago that asked me to do the neg, which is an also a hard boiled egg peeler. And of course, there's a famous life hack going around where you can use a jar and some water to peel eggs. So I figured I would do all three and see how they work. So without further ado, it's my review and comparison of the three egg peeling techniques. Let's get right to it. Okay, I've got a dozen eggs in my perfect egg maker. This makes very good hard boiled eggs. We've got all three methods here waiting to go. The instructions for the extractor says to wait, to put it in an ice bath for 10 minutes the neg says to put it in there for five minutes, so I will do just that for both of them. For the cheap jar, I'm gonna follow the same instructions as the neg since they're so similar. All right, it is just shut off. Now it's time to put them in some ice water. It's like a family reunion of As Seen on TV products. We have the perfect egg maker and we have the clever tongs back in action. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do is the neg supposedly has to have just enough water to cover this bump. So you're supposed to just place an egg in here. Does that seem like enough water to you? I don't know. Just cover the bump in the bottom cap. All right. I'm just supposed to shake this four to 12 times and that's supposed to be it. Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I should have a perfect hard boiled egg. Well, I mean, hmm. All right, what did I do wrong here? All right, that's the first one. I think maybe I needed to, maybe the 12 wasn't enough. I mean, it was easier to peel. Kind of came off. All right, I'm gonna say that was, that was like a B minus. I'll say a B minus in that one. Let's try, we can get, we can go up to an A tad more water and I'm going to shake it a few extra times. Okay, here we go. Come on, peel. You know, I mean, I feel like I could probably shake that a few more times. Just splash the camera. Oh, wow. What did you do to it? <laughs> Uh, the egg itself is fine. It's just the shells kind of mangled. All right, well, so that's, that's still pretty good. I'm going to say that one goes up to about a B. It says four to 12 times, but I feel like I could actually break the shell a little bit more. Let's do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it quite a bit. Okay, here we go. Every time there's, there's like less and less shells, so I think I'm, I'm making progress. Oh, look at this. Oh. Maybe that was too much. I mean, I still think it's easier than just peeling. That's, that's kind of a little bit nasty. That's kind of nasty. All right, now I'm the cameraman and the cameraman is the tester. So the cameraman, AKA Brandon, is gonna try one. Cause in, as my friend Kayla said, you were in a video where you said you were bad at peeling eggs. So she wants to have you try it because you said you're bad at it. All right, so you okay. try it. All right. Snap. All right, snap, okay. 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 So what do you, what do you think compared to your previous egg peeling experiences, which I know there are many? I mean, I'm like barely grazing my fingers over and it's just all kind of peeling off. I'm gonna so. say that's, that. I think you maybe did better than I did. <laughs> I mean, I think that might even be close to an A. What do you think about that? It's pretty good. All right, so egg test passed. Oh, he's actually eating it. All right, now the next five minutes has been up, so we're going to take out these for the egg extractor. And he's still eating over there. Come on, man. It's like you got, you got camera work to do and you're eating. All right, so what you're supposed to do, I guess I'll do the camera work by myself since the cameraman's over there eating. I am <laughs> Yeah, right. So what you're supposed to do is take the small side and puncture it a couple times on here and then 
just kind of crack the big side a little bit on the table. That's what it says to do in these instructions. Wow, that was more of a puncture than I thought. That probably qualifies as a puncture. Okay, I'm gonna, and then it says crack the big end. Okay, small end upward. Cross both hands. I don't know why this specific technique has to be it, but then I'm supposed to give it a big shove and perfect egg is supposed to pop out of the bottom. If it doesn't, then something's wrong. Okay, ready? Oh, okay. All right, anyways. Hmm. Anything? Nothing. I feel like I'm cracking the egg shell every time I do this, though. That is not. Oh, come on! <laughs> whoa! 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 Look at that! That is so. I mean, not not. That's not the desired result, but how awesome is that? Look at the shell. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I could get worse than that. Woo! Look at the yolk. The yolk's actually kind of perfect. If you just wanted the yolk itself, that's actually pretty good. To be fair, it says if it popped out and completely exploded, too much pressure was applied, or it was not in the upright position. Well, it was definitely in the upright position, so I was trying to get it out of there, so I'll try it less pressure next time. We have three more to do in the extractor. <laughs> Let's just crack the big end. This is not going well, come on. Okay, here we go. I'll do medium pressure now. Medium pressure. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. We almost... Hey, we almost have success. Woo, look at that. Almost have success. Wow. Hey, look at this. I don't think... I just can't help. I'm getting excited here. I don't think I've ever seen the extractor on YouTube come out this good before. I actually had success. First one was an utter failure. The second one, I think, actually worked. I've got two more to try. Let's see how they do. I have really high hopes. Okay, ready? Medium pressure. Oh! Oh, 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 Look, we got success again. We've got success again. Two and two for two. Well, actually, two for three. But two, two in a row have come out well. But guess what? It's time for the cameraman to try it now. That's right. That's right. Get over here, cameraman. Then this thing. Yep. Two hands on there. Oh, oh, oh! You got something. <laughs> <laughs> we got some of it. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see this. What the? <laughs> Look at this. You know, if you just wanted the yolk, that's actually pretty amazing. <laughs> it says if only the center pops out, the egg time was cooldown time was too short but the others worked fine so who knows put it back just, in put it back in there put it back in there you know it's perfect back just like home. it was before <laughs> well we had i don't know two success two fails but let's try the old life hack where you use just a cheap dollar store jar life hack egg in the jar i'm not sure how much water to use that might be too much might not be enough Hmm. I think that's too much water. It's too much water. A couple more shakes. Well, I think I kind of butchered this one. Oh no, I butchered it. Did I have too much water? Did I shake it too much? Um, this is, we're just gonna leave, kinda leave this one. We're just gonna leave that one right there. I'm gonna try the neg instructions with just four to 12 shakes, cause I have a little bit less water. I'm gonna keep putting less water until I get the right formula here. So let's do it. I know this works, but it's just not working for me. Come on. Okay, it's kinda coming off now. What do you think, cameraman? What on it? A through F scale, what was that? It was like a C minus. C minus, yeah. I mean, I got it working, but yeah, it's not great. I think I need even less water than that. Oops, that's 13. Oh, here we go. There we go. It's just a matter of getting the right amount of water, I think. Oh, 
Okay, it's still not an A though. I think we went up from a C minus to like, I don't know, maybe a B minus. Oh no, I'm, it's going back down to a C minus again. Oh no. Oh. Not that attractive. All right, well, guess what? We have one more left. All right, cameraman. As the self proclaimed bad egg peeler goes, let's see what this compares. Wow, you did better than I did. Again. You did better than I did. How would you rate that? This would be like not quite a hundred, but maybe a 90%. Okay, so like an A minus. Yeah. All right. Wow. Hey, it's me and the cameraman together. None of these really account for doing cold ones. I actually usually eat hard boiled eggs the next day, as I know you do too. Mm -hmm. And let's see how they each do in that capacity, because I'm not really sure if it's even going to work for a cold hard boiled egg, which none of these seem to talk about. So let's try that. I know the technique. I've got the right amount of pressure. I'm confident this will work. Let's do it. Boom. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, it exploded. This is what happened to it. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let me try another one. I think I pushed a little bit too hard. It did say that'll happen if you push too hard. Not quite as hard this time. A cold hard boiled egg. Why you got something coming out the bottom? Oh, oh. It's like hatching. It's ew, it's like hatching an egg. Oh, look, not good. So that's a no on that one. Let's try the neg with a cold hard boiled egg. I actually said it that time. Hmm. It's not just falling off. Uh, no, it's not falling no, off at all. Pretty rough. Didn't really gain me any advantage, actually. I don't think that works too well. Does the cameraman want to try one? I'm wondering if when it's cold, it needs to be shaken a few extra times. Let's try that. That's 14, 15. <laughs> All right. I got faith in you. I got faith in the neg. Oh, I think he's having better luck than I did. I'm gonna be like Eric Thies. Cameraman, get a close up of this. Okay, Eric. Bit these. came out, but uh, B minus. I think so. Most of it's intact. Shall we try the jar just for comparison's sake? I think so. All right. It is like an egg battlefield in here, man. Look at that, all that. Oh, a lot of casualties. It is an egg battlefield. I counted eighteen. Oh, it's demolished. Mmm, <laughs> egg mm. soup. I think we went a little bit too too hard on that one. Okay, okay. Right, you want to try another one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. The egg battlefield gets another casualty. <laughs> All right, this is our final test. This is the final one before we go to conclusion time. Uh oh, do we have success? Um, or do we have failure? Um, Did you lose a little bit? I lost a little bit, but not too much. That was pretty good. Well, thank Kayla for requesting you to get in the video, so. Thanks, Kayla, appreciate it. All right, so now it's time for me to wrap things up here. All right, so this was the neg. He ate one of them, but all three of them came out pretty good. One, this is the worst one of the bunch. This is the extractor. Two looked really good and two looked really bad. So kind of hit or miss. And then this is the jar. I didn't feel like I ever quite got the right amount of water ratio perfect on these, so. I think the jar did better than the extractor, but the neg wins the competition. Kind of surprised. I thought the jar would hang with it, but I think the jar is more user error. Yes, I will take credit for that not working out so well. I think if I played around with it, I could probably get the same results. But on first use, the neg was the easiest, then the jar, and the extractor was just all over the place. So in the end, I think the neg actually came out on top. I do think if you try different types of jars with different amounts of water, you could probably get the same results. But this is already kind of sized for it and pre-measured, so that's why I think it was better for me right out of the box. As far as the extractor goes, it seems a bit gimmicky. I got two of them to work out of the four, so that's pretty good. It seems more like a party game to me than an actual useful kitchen device. So if you use the neg, the extractor, or a jar, or a coffee cup to appeal eggs, tell us what you think in the comments below. 
Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. Also check out my brand new Patreon page which just launched. And by the way, this marks the two year anniversary this week of my first YouTube video. I wanna thank everybody out there for all your support, comments, likes, and suggestions. And I hope to see you guys again on year number three. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews. All right, so now my only problem is I've got all these eggs. I'm not sure what to do with them. I have one idea, how about this? Hey kids, dinner's ready.